everyone, I am Amit. Welcome to you to Belly Dimba. Today I am going to share my dad's signature dish with you. Aloo Du Piaja means one potato cooked with two onions. And as the name is Aloo Du Piaja, means the ratio should be one potato, two onions. Two potato, four onions. Four potato, eight onions. And this is the perfect dish for beginners and for bachelors. And if you are not in a mood of cooking yet you want to have a delicious dish, then I must say give it a try. So first, I'm gonna cut onions in round shape. Next, potatoes. And again, we have to cut it in round shapes and keep the thickness like this. Cutting all done. Now we just have to prepare our aromatics. I'm gonna use the mortar and pestle and now we have to crush few of the whole spices. One teaspoon of cumin seeds, four green cardamoms, one inch of cinnamon stick, one black cardamom, four black peppercorns and three cloves. And now we just have to crush it. This grinding is a hard part and bit boring as well. So we are gonna forward it. Crushing done. I like it roughly crushed but if you like you can grind it finely in a grinder as well. Now just keep it aside. And next, we have to roughly crush four garlic cloves. Crushing done. Now I'm gonna pressure cook this dish. So start with pressure cooker. Add four tablespoon of mustard oil. I'm using mustard oil as mustard oil is a bit pungent and it adds a kick to the dish. Now I'm going to add some more ingredients. A pinch of asafoetida, hing, star anise and just break one red chilli, dried red chilli and add it. Give it a stir and next we will add garlic and next we will add onion. Stir it well and just after a minute we will add our whole spices powder that we have already made. Again, give it a mix. And we don't have to cook onions. So now, I'm gonna add potatoes. Give it a mix again. And now it is time for salt. Add salt to taste. I'm adding just one and a half teaspoon of salt. And now a dash of lime. Give it a stir. Our last ingredient, nutmeg. Just a little. And add a little bit of water. Give it a stir again. All done. Now we just have to close the lid and give it just one whistle and then switch off the heat. That's it. All done. Steam done. Now just switch off the heat and wait for another two or three minutes for the steam to just go away. Our dish is ready in a super quick way. So if you really like this recipe, do try it at home. Don't forget to share it 
press the like button as well and don't forget to subscribe